Hi everybody, my name is Sean Cornelli, and if you know who I am, you probably recognize me uh, by this picture from this one video that I've ever made in my entire life that's worth listening to. Uh, and those of you that don't know me, this means nothing to you, and I look like a total D right now. So uh, this is my entry into the Mystery Teacher Theater 2000 entry, our critiques of Khan Academy as teachers. And I'll be honest with you, I don't watch much Khan Academy. Uh, I don't have that kind of time. But um, I've been really interested in learning some history because it turns out I know nothing about it. And so I thought, okay, fine. I'll give this Khan Academy thing a, a go and I'll learn some history. And so I pulled up uh, my favorite country, um, which is France. And let's talk about the French Revolution here. And so I started watching this video and uh, it's, well, well, we'll let Khan do the talking for us. In this video, we're going to talk about the French the French Revolution. And what makes this especially significant is that not only is this independence from a monarchy controlled empire, like in the American independence, this is an actual overthrowing of a monarchy, of a monarchy that controls a major world power. So this is on some levels. Uh Okay, so here's what I've learned in the first couple of seconds. Uh, if you repeat something, uh, it makes the students think you care about it. And if you wiggle your mouse, that's somehow engaging. So now I'm making a screencast right now, and I'm wiggling my mouse, and I'm picking this guy's nose. Uh, so you should be, like, super into that right now, uh, that I'm doing that. And by the way, if you, like, raise your voice into a different register, uh, you're going to, like, super, super engage the listener. Uh, yeah, just this is my extreme skateboarding voice. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, in fact, actually, you know what? Let's let's not keep going. Uh, I then had the question, you know, wouldn't it be more fun if I just pulled up the Wikipedia entry on the French Revolution and then dumped it into text edit and just had text edit read it to me? Because uh, I kind of like that voice better. Uh, and here's what that sounds like. Um, so you can see here it's going to read a little French, which I think is interesting. Uh, and we'll just see how the, the old uh, the French Revolution, French text edit handles Revolution, this. France says. 1789-1799 was a period of radical social and political upheaval in France that had a major impact on France and throughout the rest of Europe. The absolute monarchy that had ruled France for centuries collapsed in three years. French society underwent an epic transformation as feudal, aristocratic and religious privileges evaporated under a sustained assault from radical left-wing political groups, masses on the streets, and peasants in the countryside. Three old ideas about tradition and hierarchy, of monarchy, aristocracy, and religious authority were abruptly overthrown by new enlightenment principles of equality, citizenship, and inalienable rights. Oh, and you can even see some of the pictures he used. Uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of almost prefer the Apple Speak version, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh. You know, this is a math competition, and we are critiquing sort of Khan's math vision. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh here. So let's go to a, a math video here. And I'm partial to calculus. That's what I teach. And we're going to check this out. And I'm going to check out the worst content in calculus, which is related rates, folks. Uh, let's see. I'm scanning here. I don't see anything called related rates. But he calls it something else. Ah, here we go. Introduction to rate of change problems. And I think that that's really, really interesting. Because the fact that the word introduction to rate of change problems is this far down the list actually kind of makes me want to barf all over my computer. And I'm wiggling my mouse right now and upping a register. So you know I'm really serious and you should be really engaged. Because freaking calculus exists to discuss rates of change and nothing else. Uh, in fact, if we open up some research here from uh, the Mathematics Magazine in the year 2000, you can actually see a quote, which I won't have you read, from a, the person who invented related rates in 1836 saying that, I basically invented the problems that have no meaning and no context because I needed undergraduate students to be able to do things fancy with the chain rule. So not only has Khan sort of complicitly gone with this ridiculous curriculum, of uh, assuming that everyone needs to know these rate of change problems and put them in a ridiculous part uh, midway through his curriculum, uh, we're really not really addressing uh, the fundamental concern, which is, uh, is it really honestly that surprising that our students have no freaking idea why we're doing anything in the order that we're doing them in class? Uh, they have really no control. And what that means is they result in students that probably couldn't care less about what they're learning or, what I find even more disgusting as a calculus teacher, uh, being in my little ivory tower, is that students care for absolutely no reason. Uh, they tell you they care, they tell you they're interested, they tell you that the reason that they're doing something is so that they can 
do the problems better later. Well, what is that later? Are you going to get knifed by some parabola in the woods who is like, hey man, you better find my freaking vertex or I'm taking your kidney. That That's never going to freaking happen. And my biggest critique of ye old Khan is that he does nothing to assuage this huge problem that no one has any idea why there ought to be six videos on double integrals or why anyone might, might do it. When I click on one of these, I don't see a list of anything that tells me why why I might want to do that. Where's the first act? Where's the anticipatory set? Where is the, the, the buy-in for any of this? And why is that being ignored? Why is this being touted as the way to learn anything when I, if I don't know why I'm learning it, I don't necessarily care. Uh, point made here, uh, this is one of the only lessons I've ever done that worked, and I did it during my first year, so I pretty much peaked as a teacher. Uh, I found this horse skeleton in Wyoming, I brought it back to my classroom, and I said, hey guys, uh, what was this? Uh, no one knew. Everyone thought they had a fantastic idea, and it lasted for about a month of a student doing, students doing amazing research that had nothing to do with me or my expertise or my ability to make a screencast or wiggle my mouse or raise the register of my voice so that you know I'm serious. Um, to me, that's real learning, and that's the thing that we're missing if we put all of our stake in Khan Academy. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later.